oh my, this week's issue of Dying Dodos is simply to die for. Who knew that red hair would be such the rage in Milan, or that mullets are back in fashion, or even that trendsetters in Paris are styling a mohawks again. Oh, I simply must try these out. Elton, I'm here for my appointment. Are you open yet? Oh, yes, Janet. Come on in. Maybe she'd be down for a new look. I'm sorry I'm so early. I have a tutoring session at noon, and my feathers just will not cooperate today. Oh, no problem at all. Come in, sit, 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 sit. Hey, listen. How about you and I try something new today, huh? No, no, I, I'm just the same as my usual cut, thank you. But red hair is such on the rage in Milan. You would look fabulous in red hair. Oh, goodness, no red. Would, would be too bright on my white feathers. Just, just simply... A simple cut. That's but, all I need. But you've had the same look for years now. Now, a little nice uh, refresh to jazz things up is, uh, you know, it never hurt anyone. Elton, please. I just need my same cut. I've got, no, come on, come on, come on. Let's get you to the coloring station. Yes, yes, yes. This, the, you'll look good. The children need consistency. And you will be consistently fabulous. Now, come on. Voila. You look like a brand new person. Oh my, I, I look like a clown. A very beautiful clown at that. The children are going to make fun of me. Only for being too gorgeous. My tutoring session is at noon. How long will it take you to fix this? You mean to return to your old drab? Book minimum, um, mm, three hours. I have 20 minutes before I have to be at the school. I guess I'll have to go with this. Do, do you have any hats? Nonsense. A hat will cover your beauty. I'll be back later. You need to fix this. Well, have a nice day, Janet. I hope you enjoy your visit at Elton's Barbershop. You know, if you're going to fix it, it's going to be a $20 upcharge for the dye job. I'll just put it on your tab. It'll be okay. Janet looked absolutely fabulous. I would say some of my best work yet. Yet, I wonder if someone will let me try a mullet. Elton? It's me! Walter! I have some coupons. Oh, yes, 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 come in, Walter. I see you've got my mail coupon book in your other hand there. Um, with all my discounts for Harry Bears? Yes? Yes, that's what you got there? I did indeed. You know, it came at the perfect time. Noel was saying my hair was too scraggly and long and how I needed a trip. So, when I got your coupon book in the mail, I decided, you know, it'd be the right time to come on over. Well, you came at the perfect time. With the perfect length hair. It's just what I'm looking for, to try something... No. no well, no, hold on, hold on. I, Noelle said I was supposed to get a trim, nothing too crazy. Oh, no, 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 of course not. Nothing too crazy. There's no dying, no nothing permanent. It's just, uh, it's just hair. It'll always grow back. Hmm. Well, that is quite fascinating, though. How it always grows back. How do you think that process works, anyways? Oh, it's quite simple. Here, look at this graph I have hanging on this wall. It's quite beautiful, isn't it? Hair is made up of three different layers of hardened protein. The outermost layer is called the cuticle, and it's its job to protect the other two layers. The second layer being the cortex, and the third layer being the medulla. So in each tiny little strand of hair, there's all these layers. Yes, now moving on. At the base of each of these little hairs, there's a little bit of skin called the follicle. And at the base of the follicle is the palpia. That is why the root of your hair comes out uh, of where it comes out and the actual growth of the hair happens. Fascinating! Yes, now would you please kindly stop interrupting. Sorry. Now, to answer your question about hair growth, each individual strain of hair grows from the bottom of the palpia, and it gets its nutrients from a blood vessel that runs underneath it. And those nutrients are turned into new cells and that form growth. And then they die, and they harden into proteins that come out of your skin and form hair. This is known as keratinization. So all of the hair of my body is dead? Yes. All of the hair, once it leaves the skin, is considered dead. That is why it doesn't hurt to cut it, or break it, or, you know, snack on it, or whatever. As long as the hair continues to get longer, new cells continue to form under the skin, and it's harder for him to push those cells, uh, older cells out. This results in your hair getting longer, and longer, and longer, and so forth. Fascinating! The body truly is brilliant, and a mysterious thing at times. Yes, 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 whatever you say, Walter. Now, will you please let me cut your hair? I suppose if the style isn't too extravagant, Noelle wouldn't mind a slight change in appearance. Wonderful! Now, let's get these mats out of your fur. And finished. New hair, new you. Oh my goodness gracious! 
Fabulous, isn't it? It's on the page nowadays. I look like I did when Leonard and I decided to start that rock band in our teens. You know, it's so in, in fact. They're starting to call some saloons and salons and high traffic areas mullet mills. What? what? No! H hold on, what, what, what do we call ourselves again? Oh yes, Wailing Walter and LL Lynx. You're going to be a trendsetter of this town. And again, Noelle always hated that hair. She made me cut it after we started dating. Everyone will be getting a mullet after today. No, 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 Elton. I I'm sorry, but you're going to have to shave it. Nonsense. Your multi-main is going to be the talk of the town. As nice it is to, you know, relive some glory days uh, in my youth, Noelle is going to have a bit when she sees it. At last, you know, give it a chance. Who knows? She may love it. Well, if you insist. But something tells me that she won't like it. Well, have a lovely day, Walter. And come back and see me. I have a two-for-one special going on. Buy two haircuts, get one free. The only thing I haven't tried today is a mohawk. Ma, do I have to get a haircut today? But it's so long and now just the way it is. I can hate bang with it. Fine. <laughs> Isaac, do come in. Yes, you have such an incredibly stylish hair, child. Hi, Mr. Elton, sir. Sit, sit, sit. Tell me, what are you looking for today? I, I was thinking something new and fashionable. You know, you're such a trendsetter in this community. You okay? Yes, of course. What wouldn't I be? It's just you really don't like me that much. Nonsense. How could I not like the style icon of the North? says I gotta get a new haircut because my crests are starting to get a little out of control. Oh yes they are a little bit, but you know, not long enough we could, we could try something new with them. What, what do you say uh, to a mohawk? I think I've always wanted a mohawk. I mean, uh, it sounds intriguing. You know, they're all on the rage in Paris right now, and everyone would think you're the most fashionable boy in town. I don't know. Mom did just send me in here for a trim. I don't know if she'd be upset if I came back with a new style. Oh, I'm sure your mother would love it if she just saw you in it. Well, all right, if you're sure, Mr. Elton, then go ahead and give me a mohawk. Let's do this! I look incredibly awesome. This is awesome! Sure, you'll be the top of the town. Look at this new look, Isaac. Oh, 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 I, I cannot wait to show Mom! Have a nice day, Icicles. Remember, I sell maintenance products for the deaf styles like that mohawk. Another happy customer. I am a mohawk today. Elton? Elton? Are you, are you here, Elton? Oh, uh, Mayor Leonard. Are you here, here for a trim? No, actually, my hair is fine right now. Nonsense. Take a seat. You look like an unsheared sheep. Really? No, I, I, I don't think that... No, 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 I'm on a mission, Elton. I, no, no, no. W would you like a shaving cut, or would you like a dye job as well? Elton, there will be no haircut for me today. I have been getting some complaints. Well, obviously, your hair is a mess. What? No, 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 not about me. About you and your fancy schmancy new haircuts. Impossible. Anyone who could have complained about my hair is purely... No, it, it, it is simply impossible. Everyone has been complaining. Janet looks like a raggedy Ann doll. Walter wants to get that band back together now, and the Icicles don't have any idea what to do with Isaac's hair. But it's the latest fashion. Since when has anybody in Snowden cared about the latest fashion? Okay, fine. I'll admit it that Janet may be slightly upset, and Walter, well, maybe less than happy, but Isaac loves his new look. It's Isaac. You put a paper bag on that boy's head and he'd be beyond happy. Perhaps. You know, I should have looked a little bit more into what my clients wanted done with their hair. Now, see, for starters, you know, they were all just all these new styles and, and dying dodos, and I want to try out. And sometimes, like a little boring hair, with everyone just wanting the same thing over and over and over again. I know, I know. Doing people's hair in Snowden is like a dream gig. I understand that. You know, your hair and style is an art form, and most people in Snowden care more about functionality. But, I'll be a monkey's uncle if you're not the best barber in the Northern Hemisphere. Now, 
if you could please fix everyone's hair back to the way it used to be and the way they wanted to be, then maybe, just maybe, I can figure out a way for you to challenge yourself a little more, okay? Yes, indeed. I will fix it, I promise. But I don't imagine you can convince anyone else to let me experiment on them. Well, I don't know about that. We'll just... Well, you see, we just got a new resident in the town, and we're going to get a new museum, so maybe... In an effort to boost tourism, we can boost your business with a little more international clientele. Like clients from Paris? Well, I don't know about that, but I will certainly try to get people from Paris. You know, I'll, I'll think about it, and Jane and I will start working on something tonight. Meanwhile, you need to fix the town's hair, okay? I will. I'll call them up right now. In the meantime, I think of different fashions in Paris. No, 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 I'll create my own fashion. Yes, I'll have a new clientele from Paris flying in. I'll get, I could be the trendsetter. Yes, Elton Eagleton, trendsetter. That could 